uh, the county and the state in particular uh, are not going to be able to offer the resources they have to us in the past. They simply don't exist. The market has changed. The environment has changed. So as a, as a result of that, uh, many people are wondering how this is affect employees. As I said, no one loses jobs and no one has a reduction in salary. The vast majority of college employees are just fine. Roughly 70% of our employees fall within the market range. That's going to be great. So the majority of people are not affected in any way about this. They go forward and we keep doing. Those who fail above the market range, their compensation will be frozen. The reality about this is that if you are above what the market says, um, we're going to use the market as the place by which we make those decisions. Um, until they fall into market rates or fall back into line with the market, uh, those rates will be frozen. For those employees whose compensation fell below the market rate, which is a very small number, less than 100, um, we will be raising their compensation to be competitive with the market. All of those employees <clears throat> uh, in December, all staff and administrators will be advised of their new job grades. That's the first part in the classification study. And if you fell above the market rate, you'll meet with your supervisor and an HR professional who will talk you with, you can ask questions, understand the process more, and dig into the data as you see fit. There's going to be uh, a series of forms. I hope that people take advantage of them to find out more information. I know a couple have already taken place. Robust conversation, lots of dialogue. I want to thank uh, Mr. Roop and his team who have been a part about that, been a part of it and led that. I've also asked at each one of those meetings to have SALT members, senior administrative leadership team members there who can hear and respond to questions that may come up.